we had a good team coming into the season. We knew we had a lot of young uh, guys coming up from uh, the prior JV team and some of the younger underclassmen, and we knew we were going to be well suited to, to have a successful season. We weren't the type of team that we're going to blow you out. You know, we're not. I mean, we had a couple games where we won by you know decent margins, but. We were more like the team that was going to beat you 20 to 17, or you know, something. It's always going to be close, but we were going to come out ahead. I think we had great, great uh, balance both on offense and defense. And when we needed more defense, we played. You know, the defense stepped up. Other other times when we needed a score, we got a score. We were a team. I think that's first and foremost. Is it was there was as many good players as we have. I don't think there was any huge standout players, but as a team. It was tough to beat us. I never felt the pressure, and I'm not sure any of us did, where we had to go undefeated. I think that we knew we were going to be good. We knew we were going to be competitive with everybody. Um, but I'm not sure the whole undefeated thing ever came into it until the end of the season. The younger players got led along by the upperclassmen, who were obviously good. You know, that 75 team were undefeated. I and mean, that certainly rolled over into the 76 team. Our 76 team. Uh, that, that was a special team. Um, I think talent uh, would be a word that comes to mind on the team. We would, we would start a game, and within the first two series, we'd be up 14 up. And then, you know, 21 up. And before the first quarter was over, the second team was on the field. We ran into one problem, and, and worst conditions I've ever seen any sport played at when we played Char uh, Charlotte at Charlotte. Game never should have been played. It was played in torrential rain. The rain was like three feet deep, so we ended up only winning by a touchdown. I think that's what really knocked us to, uh, we ended up being like third in the state, and I think we would have been number one in the state um, because we would have put 60 on them too, there's no doubt about it. I think the real magic for all, all those years was Tom Seymour and Frank Knows. And I honestly believed then and I believe now that they were the best coaching staff in this, this whole area. Mr. Seymour, um, to me was like Vince Lombardi. And then we had young Tom Sprague come in, bringing in new, new ideas, and we had Frank Nose, who was our tough guy. I don't remember anyone using the word streak. And Coach Seymour was always about the next game. You know, we just need to worry about the next game. In terms of the streak, I don't think we were really aware of the impact of the streak. Um, again, we were the epitome of one game at a time, one, one play at a time, one season at a time. So I don't think the streak really motivated us to play any better. When you say the word team, that's what we were. And I think we got that from the seniors before us. And I think we passed that along to the team following up. I'll just never forget the camaraderie and the dedication of all my teammates and from starting from summer practices uh, all the way through in the confidence level that, that, that we had. We would, as a group, want to be remembered as a team that was unselfish, played for one another. We wanted to make our coaches proud of us, wanted to make our student body proud of us, and McQuaid proud of us. The fact that we were good, the fact that we played well, to me, seemed secondary. The fact that we got along, had a great time all the time, uh, it was very positive really great, uh, a great feeling for those couple of years.